and welcome to New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Marcus Johnson with New Blue. Today we're going to be taking a look at New Blue's Video Essentials 4 collection. Video Essentials 4 contains 10 extremely useful tools, each designed to do a specific job quickly and easily. For this tutorial, I'll be focusing on the Time Clock plugin. Time Clock provides a simple yet powerful way to add a running timer to your video. Normally this would be a fairly complicated task, but with Time Clock you can generate a timer, change the color, font style, size, and background all with one easy to use plugin. For this example I've got some video of a motorcycle race that I want to add a 10 second countdown clock to. When I first add the time clock effect to my clip, you'll notice that you can see the timer, but the background has turned to a solid black. We'll go ahead and open the effect controls, uncheck the overlay box, and now we can see our video again. Like all new blue plugins, time clock has a number of different presets to choose from, but I'm going to start by selecting reset to none and build the effect from scratch. Since I want the timer to start at 10 seconds, I'll adjust the second control to 10 under the start time. Time format sets which numbers are displayed on the clock, so I'll go ahead and turn on minutes and seconds, and since I want the clock to be constantly running, I'll select frames as well. I'll check the countdown box since I want the clock to count down from 10 seconds. If I left countdown unchecked, the clock would start at 10 seconds and count up. Separator sets the character that's placed between each set of numbers, and as you can see there are several to choose from. I'm going to use the colon. Next we'll set the style, which allows you to choose from several different fonts for your time clock. I think ticker looks pretty good. Right now the clock is overlaid directly on the video, but as I start to increase the background control, you'll see a background become visible. I want it to be a little transparent, so I'll leave that set at about 75. Now the clock is about twice as big as I want it to be, so I'll lower the size, and I'm going to move it so it's in the upper left hand corner. And now we have a really nice, professional looking timer. Now for this example, I was using only one video clip. But what if you have a whole sequence that you want to add a timer to? If I place the time clock effect on each individual clip, I would have to open the effect controls for each one and change all the settings, and it would be a nightmare to get the times to match up between clips. However, if I place a single instance of time clock on a video track above my sequence, now I've only got one control panel to adjust, and it creates one single continuously running timer for my entire sequence. For more information about Time Clock and other Video Essentials 4 plugins, or to see more tips and techniques tutorials, just go to www.newbluefx.com. This is Marcus Johnson saying thanks for watching and learning about New Blue FX. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.